Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to be giving you an overview of the Pro Tools windows, okay? Pro Tools has several windows, but today we're going to be studying the three main windows that you're going to be um, working with uh, the vast majority of time in Pro Tools, okay? So, um, I have this session that I have created. It's labeled as tutorial, as you can see. And as soon as I open the session, this window opens, okay? This is called the edit window. The edit window, you can recognize it because you, when you have tracks, like for example, this bass track, you can see the waveform, okay? In this case, that purple waveform that we have there. I have these tracks, GTL and GTR for guitars left and right. And as you can see, there's waveforms there, okay? Um, you can also see there's a timeline here, okay? You can see zero... Zero, 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 and then all the way here to the right, uh, 150. Okay, so that's the timeline. Things are arranged from left to right, and basically the events that happen first are more towards the left, and the events that happen later are more towards the right. Okay, so um, you're going to see that um, the vast majority of DOS, okay, digital audio workstations, will have some kind of edit window. Um, in this case, Pro Tools calls it the edit window, but it could be timeline or whatever. Um, but yes, you can recognize it because you're going to see the waveforms and you're going to see the timeline. Uh, it's also called the edit window because here's where you can actually, at least in Pro Tools, you can edit. Like, if I have this base and I want to move things around, I can just click and drag and do things like that. Okay? Now, uh, the edit window has a couple tabs that I want you to uh, know. Okay? If you go here at the bottom left, there's a little arrow there that points to the right. If you click on it, um, that way you can see this tab. Okay, This left tab has the tracks list and the groups list. So here from the track list, you can see your tracks. You can see the names. You can hide and show tracks and things like that. Now from the groups, here you can uh, create new groups, modify groups, assign groups, turn them off turn them on so, um, so that you have on this left tab now you also have a, a tab on the right so once again if you go to the bottom right you're gonna find this little arrow here that points to the left if you click on it you're gonna see that there's this new tab here on the right it's called clips this is the clips list so every time you record or you slice um, uh, a piece of audio or something like that, you're going to be creating clips. Okay, so here's the clips list. If by some reason you delete a clip, you can always uh, find it back here. Okay. Now, there's one more um, There's one more tab, and I'm going to hide this too, by the way, so it looks cleaner. There's one more tab, which is the one that shows you MIDI. Okay. As I said before, from the edit window, you can edit audio. Okay, but in the case of MIDI, as you can see, we have a, a, a track called, a track here called Synth. This is an instrument track. There's some MIDI information here. Now I can't, I can't do a lot. Like I can slice it and things like that. I can also move it. But if I want to actually modify and edit the notes, like note by note, I would need to open the MIDI editor. Well, you can do that from this tab down here. You can see this little arrow that points um, to to the upper part. Okay, it points. Um, it points to the upper part, so if you click there, boom, now you have this MIDI editor, which you can always maximize, and you can see the notes from that track. Uh, here on the left, you can select the track where you want to see the notes. In this case, the synth track is the one that's selected. So here you can actually edit the notes, note by note. You could you know, modify the length, maybe change the note value, maybe the velocity. So um, that way uh, it's easier because actually from here from the edit window you really can edit the MIDI notes. Uh, this is called the MIDI editor and you can also open it by going here window and clicking on MIDI editor. It's also it's actually going to be detached if you open it that way but it's pretty much the same. You have the MIDI notes uh, down here, the velocities associated to each MIDI note. These are velocity bars, so basically the higher the vertical bar is, the higher the velocity. And you have a piano roll here that, that basically identifies each note, each MIDI note. 
So that's the edit window. Now you have another window, which is the one you're going to be using uh, mostly when mixing, which is the mix window. If you go on the top here, window, and then click on mix, boom, here's a mix, the mix window. Now, the mix window resembles a console, basically. Okay, so think about a, an analog console. You have all your faders, all your, all your channel strips, actually. So you have one channel strip per track, and each channel strip is going to have some kind of pan pot. Well, not all of them, but all your tracks and auxes and things like that will have some kind of pan pot. You're going to have a fader, so you can control the volume. You're going to have I.O., so inputs and outputs, sends and inserts. So it basically resembles a console. So you, you're going to find yourself in situations in which you have to go back and forth from the edit window to the mix window to maybe, you know, maybe you want more volume on that bass. You can click it and then, you know, push it up and you're going to have more volume there. Or maybe, you know, the, the synth is too, too, too loud and then you want to make it softer. You can click and pull it down and it's going to be softer now. Now, the mix window also has tabs. So... If you click here on the left, you also have the tracks list, and the groups list um, from the left tab. And then here on the right, you have uh, optionally your heat plugin in case you have a Pro Tools version that runs heat. Okay. So you can go back to the edit window by going window edit and you're back there. So those are the main Pro Tools windows that you're going to be working with, um, make sure you fam familiarize yourself with the edit window and the mix window, because as I said, you're going to be using that 99% of the time, okay? So I hope this tutorial was helpful, guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be super happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.